We'll look at this summer's travel trends and reveal a new global report by American Express. It shows 76% of families plan to travel more this year. 70% plan to take their first international trip with kids since the pandemic. That's a big jump from the last two years when just 10% traveled internationally. And then 19% didn't go anywhere at all. CBS News senior travel advisor Peter Greenberg is here joining us right now. Peter, good morning. Um, let's jump right into it. So gas prices are soaring. They are. Um, so how does this impact how people are going to travel right now? Well, not as much as you think right now, but domestic bookings are surging. Hotel rates are going up nearing 2019 levels. And as a result, good luck trying to get into a national park this summer, even a state park. So if you don't make your domestic travel booking soon, A, you may not get in, and mm. B, if you do, you're going to pay a, lot, a whole lot more. Oh, boy. Uh, you mentioned train travel as an alternative to driving. Yeah. I, I'm not aware of a train destination that I could get to. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Yeah, I, I know we always take, we can, you can go to Washington, Boston, <laughs> Philadelphia on the train. I, I never think the, of that yeah. as a vacation. The Amtrak's had their best ridership in years, and they've got the long-haul trains coming back. The Zephyr, the Empire Builder, the Cardinal, the Southern Crescent, one of the great trains ever. It starts and where here. are they going? Where well, are they going? It starts here in New York, stops in Washington, then goes all the way south to New Orleans. It's great. Do you fly somewhere to pick up the train? Do you fly to Penn Station? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, you know, you're talking about the West. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. All right, you also have some budget deals for uh, families <laughs> looking to take multi-generational trips. Before you get to those, yeah. uh, I do want to put up a picture which shows a what do you really got, surefire way to save money on a family vacation. Oh! 60% <laughs> hey, off here, Nate Burleson, because three children that he has, not on the trip. Yes. No we, kids allowed. We left the baggage behind. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I didn't mean to call my kids baggage, but yeah. you know what I mean. I mean, you got to out with my wife you know, on a solo trip. But if you do want to take the kids yeah. or even the grandkids, uh, how do you do it and save money? Well, that's what's happening. We saw this before uh, after 9-11. We saw it again after the 2008 economic debacle. We're seeing it now. When we have a crisis, whether it's in Ukraine or at the pump, families tend to come together yeah. and then travel together as multi-generational entities. Mm. And that's happening all across the board. Highly whether, recommend it. Hi, hotel, yeah. train, cruise, or maybe in your case. <laughs> yeah. Now, what about flying, Peter? Is, is now a good time to go to Europe? Or are more people going to Europe now? Or more people coming to the United States? And what's the difference, right. price more difference? More people are not going to Europe now because of what's going on in Eastern Europe. But mm. if you're a smart traveler and you get the map out, you'll realize that airfares to Europe have plummeted. There are great deals at hotels. So now would be a good time to If go. you do it smartly. But do one more thing. What's that? Book it on a U.S. carrier because Why? they got rid of those draconian ticket change fees, which means if you have to cancel your trip, you're not going to lose your money. What about domestic travel in this country? Well, that's where we have a problem right now. Airfares are rising at about 7% every month. Now they're rising 7% every week. Wow. I'll give you an example. I was going from uh, L.A. to San Francisco a couple of weeks ago. $93 round trip. You know what that fare is today? $353. Wow. That'll Same give you an thing. idea of what's going all across the board. So if you're a family of four, you can't afford those tickets. That's where you put everybody in the car, strap granny on the roof, and off you go. <laughs> Although speaking of the car... Take that back, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> granny don't want to be on the roof. <laughs> Take that back, Peter. Okay, take, take it back. Take that back. Okay, fine. Uh, speaking of cars, <laughs> this is kind of bad news for Detroit. Uh, according to the MX uh, Global Survey, the travel report, uh, most people, 65%, said they would rather have a dream vacation than a new car. Mm. We've Why? been going way away from material goods. Mm. People are now valuing travel as an experience that they want to keep, and that's what they're doing. That's, that's what they're doing. It's not about rate. It's about value. And they can get the car anywhere else, but they can't have the experience. We have in a situation like this what I call a last supper mentality. People are going now because they're saying, if I don't go now, I'll never go. And yeah, what's Peter. your best advice about traveling with COVID? Because COVID, guys, is still here. Yeah. I mean, we're, re we're relaxing, all, relaxing many of the restrictions in terms of masks. You still have to wear them on the plane. But... What, what's your best advice? Well, the metric Testing, right now is... don't is, test what? Well, no, a lot of countries are getting rid of those tests. I or know. Not just the test to go, but the test to get there, yeah. meaning once you're there. Mm -hmm. We still have the 24-hour rule to come home. But the bottom line is the metric is based less on the vaccination levels overseas or the hospitalizations than it is on your vaccination level. So you feel safe to travel during these times? Yes, and we're coming up on a 270-day cutoff. And that what is, do you mean? well, if you didn't get your vaccination outside of 270 days, you won't be let into some of these countries. Mm. So that's why we're getting into that second booster shot. Now. The, the cruise industry got crushed early on yeah. with COVID. Uh, how's it doing now? And how can I convince my wife to go on one? And please speak directly into that camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. She I, I will. She's afraid. <laughs>
<laughs> Bottom line with cruises is they're doing better than ever. The bookings are strong. And to give you an idea of pent-up demand, last week a luxury cruise line is called Oceania put up for sale their 2024 World Cruise, one of the most expensive ticket items you can imagine, 180 days, the minimum cabin price, $47,000 a person. Mm. Wow. It goes up to $190,000. Get ready. It's sold out in 30 minutes. Wow. Peter, you get to travel all over the world. What's your dream vacation for you? What's your idea of a dream vacation? Staying home. No, Peter, oh, come on. A little on. staycation action. If you, had to huh? pick, okay. if you had to pick something, if you had to, I'm serious. My metric is where I sleep the best. I'm serious. I heard okay. you on that. Yep. Where you sleep the best is where you think the best, is where you create the best, where you love the best. It's where you aspire to go back. And everybody's got one. Okay, yeah, mine is travel. It's home? By a pool, yeah. The travel expert who doesn't like to travel. <laughs> no, I didn't say I don't like to travel. That's the problem. I thought all I do is travel. Okay, all right, all right. All right. Peter Greenberg, thank you. It's always good to have you here. See you, Grandma. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Granny. <laughs> Granny. On the roof. <laughs> no thanks. No thanks.